<laughs> also, um, this game contains adult stuff. If you're a kid, maybe not watch it. <laughs> a real party from Dave and Jay's microwave horror arcade bundle. There's a lot of words. Oh, there are so many endings. I don't know what this is about, really. But let's let's jump into it. I have an idea of what it's like. A, it's like a it's like a choo, fi, get the endings adventure style thing. Sh 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 Shuby and the gang arrive at the party. It turns out to be fake, and now you and your douchebag friends are stuck in this old house. Well, it's time to solve the mystery as to why you were invited to such a crappy party. We found a paper with a code written on it. Excellent! You search around for clues and find a big boot with a shoe in it. Inside the shoe is a small sneaker. Uh? Inside the sneaker is a piece of paper that reads 4200. Scraggy takes the paper and holds on to it. Let's split up. First rule of being alone in a haunted place, split up. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive a horror movie. You and the gang decide to split up to cover more ground. Bread, Baphne, Belma check upstairs while you and Scraggy look downstairs. After a quick pan around, you notice the rat-infested kitchen up ahead. Looks like a good place to start. Rats, where the rats, where the rats. <laughs> you decide to split up and check the kitchen for some Shuby snacks, but it seems like all the giant rats in the place ate them. Wait, holy crab apples! There are giant rats crawling over the place. Quick, Shuby, do something before we're eaten alive. Eat the rats. Okay. You ate the rats, leaving nothing but pools of blood and lifeless corpses behind. Scraggy seems terrified of your presence. Walk away. You notice your. <laughs> You notice that your other three friends have gone off to do some adult things, so you decide to check around the first floor until they're done. Let's look for some clues. You look for clues and instead find a lockbox with a padlock on it. Aha! I knew there would be a part in this game where I would use the shoe code. Use the code. Bingo! You found a code that will lead you to victory, but now you've really pissed off whoever lives in this house. Best go upstairs and show the gang what you found in the lockbox. You find the three of your friends acting rather conspicuously, but regardless, you hand them the clue you found earlier. It turns out the man who lives here is the Rat King. He breeds giant rats and sells them to the black market. Why don't we set up a trap? What kind of trap should we set up? A uh, mouse trap. You <laughs> Obviously, you set up a mouse trap and lay some cheese in it, just in case the trap itself doesn't lure the rat king with its seductive snapper. <laughs> the rat. <laughs> Ouch! The rat king slowly approaches the mouse trap, and as he bends over to smell the cheese, the trap snaps his nose, chasing him into a frenzy. The pain was so intense he fell to the ground and died. Call them more. You call the morgue to pick up the Rat King's body as they arrive to recover his lifeless corpse. He jumps to his feet and makes a break for it. Turns out he didn't actually die. He just pretended to be dead so he could get away. Let's see what happens when we call the police. Now we will call the police. You call the police and they take him away. Turns out he didn't die. He just pretended to be dead. Didn't really matter because the police beat him to death as soon as he tried to make a break for it. <laughs> Happy ending. Let's try a bear trap instead! Bear trap. You set up a bear trap. While its horrifying structure didn't seem appealing to rats, it'll at least snap his ankle and give us time to beat the man to a pulp. <laughs> you notice the Rat King poking his head out from a corner. You whistle at him and point at the trap. He agrees and walks into it, screaming at the top of his lungs. The pain was so intense he fell to the ground and died. Eat him. Why? Why? <laughs> 
save him. You and the gang begin to sink your teeth into his neck. The Rat King begins to scream. Turns out he didn't die. He just pretended to be dead. Didn't really matter because the gang tore him to shreds. <laughs> ah, that's so good. All right, bear trap with the other option again. Finish him. You and the gang begin to kick and beat his lifeless corpse. The Rat King begins to scream. Turns out he didn't die. He just pretended to be dead. Didn't really matter because the gang beat him to death. That's the same ending. <laughs> All right. Um, we have some more stuff. Let's. What do we do? We'll go begin. We'll split up. We'll check the kitchen. I'll bark. We're the rats. <laughs> You begin to bark loudly. This causes Brett to hurry downstairs to investigate the commotion. You take advantage of the moment and use bread as bait to get away from the horde. Run away. While the girls explore the upstairs area, you decide to check around the first floor until they're done. We'll wander around, I guess. We killed someone, though. That's interesting. You begin to... <laughs> Sorry, I read, I read the... I read the choices. You begin to wander around the place and notice a crack in the wall. This might be a clue. Stick your dick in the wall. Nice. You begin to stick your dick into the wall. Scraggy questions why you do that, but you don't answer. Soon enough, something latches onto you and bites your dick off, leaving you dickless. Honestly, why did you even do that? The end! You are now dickless for the rest of your life. Hope you're happy with yourself for sticking your dick in random holes in the wall. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would stick it again. <laughs> Let's check the other option. Reach in. You reach in and grab something oddly soft. You pull it out and acquire a dead rat. You and Skaggy stare at the dead rat. It looks all the appetizing. Should we eat it? Delicious. Finally. Some good food. Let's Scraggy eat it. You watch a <laughs> You watch a Scraggy begins to dig into the dead rat's abdomen. Moments later, he stops and stares off into the distance as if calmly listening to the skittering rats above. And then grinned. So I guess he what became a rat? I'm gonna eat it this time! You begin to devour the dead rat. Suddenly, the Rat King's thoughts begin to echo through your mind. Kill them, Shuby, he bellows. Kill them all! Following his orders, you slaughter the lot of them, becoming a fellow vermin and one of the finest henchmen to attend the henchmen's super convention. You raise children who are inspired to become cannibalistic criminals like their old man! <laughs> wow! All right, we're still split up. We'll still check the kitchen. Let's see if we just run away. Uh-oh. You both got away, but Scraggy was an idiot who dropped the code we found in the shoe. At least it was funny to watch. Look for clues. You look for clues and instead find a lockbox with a padlock on it. Son of a butt! I knew there'd be a part in this game where I could use a shoe code. Dang it, Scraggy. How'd you even drop the code? Why did you stick it in your pocket instead of holding on to it like an idiot? Oh! <gasps> You leave the lockbox alone, knowing you're too stupid to open it. What do you want to do now? There's nothing left for us. Die! Just die. Existence is pain! You decide to drop on the ground and wait for the giant rest to eat you alive. <laughs> Game over. That doesn't count as an ending. <sighs> Try escaping. You and Scraggy find the front door. This seems like the way out. Screw Baphne, Bread, and Belma. They can do all the naughty they want upstairs. I'm out of here! Kick it down. You kick the door and finally escape the house. We didn't solve the mystery, but honestly, I couldn't care less. You successfully escaped with Scraggy and Tech. Don't know what'll happen to the others. They'll either solve the mystery or die a horrible death. Honestly, I couldn't care less. I think we've taken care of the split up side. Let's check upstairs. You check around upstairs and see three doors in front of you. They look like they could lead to anywhere. Belma insists we check door one. Baphne says door two it looks more safe, but Bread craves door three for some odd reason. What do you think? Three. Door three! <laughs> wow. Just barely touching the doorknob, the door flings open, knocking you to the ground. It's the Rat King. He grabs a hold of your legs and tosses you through the bedroom window. The shock of bursting through the glass and landing on the hard dirt was enough to end your life in a snap. <laughs> door three is a no-go. Check upstairs. We're gonna check door one. 
Where the rats? As soon as you open the door, a swarm of giant rats pour out. You cling onto the door, but notice bread holding onto your bread, bread, holding onto your tail. If he keeps at it, your tail is gonna rip clean off, and you're gonna have to deal with some serious butt pains later. Kick him off! It took a few kicks, but bread finally flies off and gets carried away by the swarm of giant rats. Good riddance. You can find a lighter somewhere. I don't know what that button was, but I clicked it. The hallway's so dark you can barely see where you're going. One wrong step and- Oh, the floorboard comes crashing down. You all hold on for dear life except Belma, who was unable to grab anything and fell to her doom. However, Bread was able to catch her as she landed. Looks like Bread, having been carried away by the swarm, was able to save Belma's life in time! <laughs> nice! I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Alright. You meet up downstairs and learn a valuable lesson. Never go anywhere without a flashlight. You turn around to go back upstairs, but run straight into the Rat King. Looks like he's not happy with all this screwing about his place. Gang up on him! <laughs> you beat the crap out of the Rat King, leaving him paralyzed for a brief moment. What should we do with him? Dragging murder! What's wrong with you? You tied the Rat King to the back of your old dirty van and dragged him across the road until you finally reached Salty Lake. You all swiftly hop out of the van and let it drive straight into the water, leaving the old rat to drown. Wow! Bludgeon him to death! You and the gang start grabbing planks off the floor and begin slamming of a lifetime. Baphne grabs the old grandfather clock and throws it on top of him, finishing him off! Oh, that's brutal! Leave him to get eaten or arrive by his rats. The Rat King begs for you to leave him alone. So you do just that. You walk away. He's relieved, but shortly realizes why you left him on the ground. The swarm of rats pile on top of him and devour him within seconds. Very nice. Convert him! You decide to convert him into a normal human being by tearing off his old rat costume that looks like it was bought in the 90s and giving him a pair of basic clothing. Well, look at you being all merciful and not brutally killing him. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't the last option I chose. Yeah. Okay, this time we are going to check upstairs. We're going to check door one, but we're going to ignore the pain. As horrible as it is, you endure the pain until the swarm finally finishes pouring out. The hallway's so dark, you <laughs> the bonk! Nice. The hallway's so dark, you can barely see where you're going. One wrong step, and oh, the floorboards come crashing down. You all hold on for dear life, except Belma, who was unable to grab onto anything and fell to her death. Proceed. <gasps> the whole situation is screwed. We have to hide somewhere, set up a trap or something, but what kind of trap should we even set up? Shotgun booby trap! Oh, no, 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 no. You set up the classic shotgun booby trap and sleep until the Wreck King shows up. Hours later, you wake up to a loud bang and a splatter of blood on the wall. You check to see if the Rat King died, but as it turns out, Baffney decided to go looking for a snack, ended up getting shot at point blank range. Crap! With Belma and Baphne out of the picture, you and the gang split off, swore never to solve a mystery again. Bread, now depressed out of his mind, set up a trap in his own home, ending his life. This is exactly what the Rat King wanted and he got it. Oh, that was a sad ending. You open the door. Everything seems hunky-dory in here. However, you notice a recently lit candle sitting on the table not far from you. We'll let Belma take it at first. Belma swiftly takes the candle and walks out. Leave. You begin to walk down the hallway. It's beginning to get darker and darker the further we go. If only we had something to light it. This is the falling way. If we click keep moving, we fall. You like the area. It's quite easy to see where the dangerous cracks in the floorboard are now. As you reach the end, you'll find a clue that'll lead you to your victory. The Rat King's crowd. I knew that sneaky beggar was hiding out in this house all along. It makes sense why he'd invite us over to a mystery party so we could kill us off all for good. It's time to end our long-standing rivalry and set up a trap. But what kind of trap should we set up? Burn the place down! Screw it! Setting up a trap will take too long. Let's just end it right here, right now. You toss your lit candle onto the ground and immediately set the whole house ablaze. Watch it all burn! Oh, that's hot! You and your friends that's sit hot. inside and watch as the whole place burns to the ground. As Rat Kling slowly burns to death too, so do you and your fellow mystery gang members. Very nice. I, I found one. We begin. We split up, we check the kitchen, we kill bread, we run away, we look for clues, use the code. 
run upstairs, exit the house. There's nothing we can really do at this point. Bread's dead, we can't set up a trap without him. We'll have to cut our losses and head home, I guess. With Bread dead, the gang no longer wants to solve mysteries together and splits apart. The Rat King has no one left standing in the way. He'll continue to breed giant rats into the world and start Rat War 1 in the near future. Shoot! Alright. We're gonna begin. We're gonna split up. Check the kitchen. Eat the rats. Walk away. Look around. Leave. Try escaping. You try to escape, but Scraggy is too scared to stick around with you, so he decides to split up and try exiting through the back door. You try the front door. You kick the door down and finally escape the building. However, you hear Scraggy scream in the distance. It appears whatever was out there got him. Escape. You escaped, but Scraggy has died. Don't know what happened to your other three friends, though. They probably solved the mystery or without you and died a horrible death. Did we already have that ending? I don't think we have that ending. All right, we're gonna split up, check the kitchen, eat the rats, walk away, look for clues, use the code, run upstairs, exit the house. You decide it's not worth getting involved in this and leave. It's probably for the best, honestly. You all escape intact, but the Rat King's still out there breeding giant rats and growing an entire army. Hope you're ready to fight off the horse of rats next year. I found another ending. We're going to check upstairs, check door two, take the candle, leave, keep moving, Belma dies, proceed, burn the place down. And having no reason to continue on with your lives after what happened to Belma, you and what's left of your friends sit inside and watch as the whole place burns to the ground. As the Rat King slowly burns to death, so do you and your fellow mystery gang members. And the last ending. Check upstairs. Check door two. Take the candle. Light the area. Shotgun booby trap. Kill Baphne. You said of the classic, yeah, uh, Baphne's dead, right? Cool, excellent. And then the ending. With Baphne out of the picture, you and the gang split off, swore never to resolve a mystery ever again. This is exactly what the Rat King got it, got it and wanted. Look, all 21 endings. All right, everybody, this has been a real party. That was fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I really like these kind of games. If you want to see the rest of Dave and Jay's Microwave Horror Arcade Bundle, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, hit that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. And if you share this video, any and all of that would make my heart go... <laughs> Why? Why? This game was like... This, this game was like a fever dream. I liked it. And as always, have an amazing rest of your day. And here's your heart and your week. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone ate him! You begin to wander around the place and there's a crack in the wall. This might be a clue. Stick to <laughs> You're not dickless for the rest of your life. Hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> We're sticking your dick in random holes in the wall. <laughs> ten out of ten. Would stick it again. <laughs> 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 <laughs>